Hello YouTubers, this is Abe Rubin and today I'm going to show you how to get rapid fire for your PC, which you would use for like Call of Duty, for like um, a rifle or something. Like I use it for World at War because there's tons of rifles and pistols and it, you can make it shoot really really fast and it's awesome. It's so much fun. So if you play Call of Duty on PC, uh, I'm going to show you how to get rapid fire. And I used to play World at War on the console, which I play most first in person shooters. And I actually like modded my controller, but this is so much easier. And it's free. So, go ahead and start up your internet. Type in auto hotkey. And then there should be like a website called autohotkey.com and it's like the first one. And then once you click on that, go to download. And then click on installer for auto hotkey. I already have it so I'm not going to install it. But and then you'll choose for if for if you have 64 bit or 32 bit. Um just go through that and install it completely. And uh Now what you want to do is go to new and then, then you'll see an auto hotkey script. Go ahead and create that. I'll say I'll just call it rapid fire. And then I'm gonna copy my code from this one. But go ahead and right click and click edit script go ahead and delete all of that you don't need it and go ahead and paste in what I'll have the code in the uh, the description and um, what this does F9 is the hotkey you can change that but what it does is when you press F9 it will be in rapid fire mode for your complete computer not just for Call of Duty and um, when until you hit F9 again once you hit F9 again, you'll get out of it. So that's like more or less a toggle switch. And then the button it's modifying is the left button. So the left mouse key. You can change that to right. And then the set mouse delay, that's uh, how fast it's going to shoot. You can change that to pretty much anything, but 20 is a good limit. Uh, the default I had was 30, but I changed it to 20, so it's a little faster. But I wouldn't recommend going faster than that because your recoil will be crazy. So that's pretty much it. And then go ahead and save it. But I'm going to delete it because I have another one. And I'm going to show you an example. So once you have that saved, go ahead and double click it. And you'll see an icon came in the bottom right so it's on and right now you can see it's in rapid fire <laughs> I'm not even like clicking but if I press F9 then I can do that if I press F9 again then it's going nuts so it's enabled so go ahead and I'm gonna start up Call of Duty to show you guys an example It's really fun, especially for Ward at War because it has like so many different rifles. And so what? It's really, really fun. <sighs> but yeah, this works 100%. Takes probably like five minutes to do. I mean, it's really simple. And I'm going to show you how awesome it is. Um. All right, we're almost there on the road to fucking awesomeness. So I'm going to go ahead and select my gear. Come on, any day now. Uh, press F9. Look at that. That is bad ass. 
It's really fast. Works for pistols too. Really cool. Can't wait till I unlock the M1A1. I just started playing World at War on PC. And the M1A1 rapes shit. So, uh, yeah. That's how you can install Rapid Fire on your PC for Call of Duty games and, well, actually any game. It's probably mainly for Call of Duty, you know, but. Yeah, that's uh, how you install Rapid Fire on your PC. So, uh, hope this video helped you. And go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And I will talk to you guys later. Peace.